Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me in the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as not one way, not two ways, not three ways, but four ways. But we have a unique event here. A Vault 187 opens. Much to surprise the residents of O'Brien, they've been living on top of a vast vault tech experiment their entire lives. Vault 187. Seems to have been a network of sub-vaults located in nearby towns, each connected by an extensive maze of tunnels sporting a significant number of man-made barricades and strewn about skeletons. We've identified the entrances to some of the sub-vaults before, but each appear to have been forced open. From the counts, uh, or the counts of the descendants of the original vault dwellers, their superiors have been part of the wicked experiment vault tech and subjected as dwellers too. Vault tech opened the vault doors to each of the sub-vaults after two years of the Great War, forcing each sub-vault to fight their way to the central chamber, of course. Central chamber had room for but a few, and so a vicious warfare broke up between the twelve sub-vaults as each vibe for control of the last radiation-free area in the vault. After more than a decade of fighting, Vault 187. 08 arose victorious, although though over 8,000 men, women, and children died before they could achieve their goal. Then and th only then was the center ch central chamber to Vault 187 sealed and extensive food supplies were revealed, allowing the descendants to, of those who fought the bloody war to thrive until today. Blinking, the first vault dwellers from Vault 187, emerging with the harsh sunlight of the wasteland, unfortunately for them. Their main vault door opened right below one of our many military camps. The first vault dwellers were swiftly apprehended and brought before the Ed Blitz, our guy here, our main guy. Our advisors are anxious and working on what to do with the rest of the vault dwellers. We can surely convince them to join us in our fight to survive the waste, but should we keep them alive, we'll certainly refuse any efforts we make to scrap their vault. Instead, we could eliminate them with a surprise attack. Many innocents would die, but is the scrap worth it? Teach them about the new world. They'll join us. Someone will get 500 manpower. Kill them all and scrap the newly uncovered vault. Well, it wouldn't be bad either. I have them, them join us. I like plasma rifles. That seems pretty good. Four led by a guy named Iblitz. The leader of Four Ways was born in the same place as its community. In Shasta Pond, a little temporary settlement for traders who travel between the Oregon Trail and Big Circle. Its father was a silver tongue ca uh, caravaneer, and his mother was a rugged caravan guard, and after what he became, one could say he inherited the best traits from both worlds. After his da passed away and took, and took over the business, the Blitz boy rapidly grew as a merchant and local leader, making everybody's favorite rest stop into a proper town. As Shasta Pond quickly got outgrown, they had to move to a new place, to the ruins of O'Brien which I started to rebuild. The man of charisma and strength had to learn new lessons, as leading people a little more than giving great speeches and cracking some skulls comes with logistical problems, like functioning, plumbing, and collecting taxes. For a ways under the leadership of Ed, flourishes as standing in the shadow of the bear has its benefits. They have all the chance to be new local trading power, but when someone has to compete with both New Reno and Redding, and potentially stand on the toes of the bear, one has to navigate painfully precise between a rock and a hard place. And we have trading crossroad. Our next was found as a crossroads between a royal and NCR, a common meeting point. We provide security and take raking the caps, allowing to entice more trade. It's almost a win. Too bad both nations are scheming to steal the four ways from under us. Of course, we're scavengers, we're trade center, we're wealthy, and we have the followers spreading. But right now, I want to go to war with the Dem. Um, also, four ways, unfortunately, has a generic focus stream. So we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues radios, Old World Blues tech expanded, Old World Blues generic uh, reworked decisions, or decisions reworked, tech expanded, uh, fast justification, all the good stuff I normally use for a generic uh, tree uh, nations here in Old Rural Blues. So, eh, this is what we got right now. Cowboy Country, and we'll go to war with these guys soon. They have up to three divisions, last time I checked, which is fine with us. Uh, oh, they might have up to four now. And we, I want to get at least ooh, one more division out before they can do anything. Do we actually have, oh, I didn't even look at this stuff yet, my bad. Saws, demo teams, uh, this, support equipment. Um, I can't really do much about that right now. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, we can go to war with them soon, and then maybe beat them up. Well, we've gone to war with them, and they actually only have two divisions, it seems like. For now. Um, hopefully... <clears throat> well, that was quickly scrapped, wasn't it? Um, hopefully we can go up here and circle these two divisions. That would be quite nice. Uh, oh god, they have four divisions now. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal, my friends. Uh, what a reasonable man. If we just take the den, was that good enough? Maybe. Um, I don't mind encircling these guys. Do we really? Do we really need doors, or can we just like beat these guys up and do it like this? We might actually still be able to win here and circle these guys up there. I'm gonna continue encircling this division down here just to see where they're headed to. Are they headed down? No, they're down here. That's fine. It's good. Keep doing that. And we probably need a field marshal, don't we? Uh, and I didn't able to promote me five more. Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to poop you out because we actually need more divisions. Because they're pooping out divisions as well. It's not good. Good. Hopefully, as long as we can take doors, that's all that really matters, right? Good. 
I just need you to go right there. That's literally all I need you to do for now. Get in there and help him out. Put more pressure on him. Do not lose the den. God dang it. Don't lose. God. No, uh, we lost the den. Oh, come on. That's so stupid. At least we got rid of those two. Well, we didn't get. Did we get rid of them? Go right there. Come on. Do better than this. We just need the den. That's literally all we need. Keep those guys in place up there. Honestly, you know what? You go down here. You help us out and take those guys out down there. For the countryside is we got that one done. And we need factories. We, we need factories immediately. Uh, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. And we have six research slots, which is pretty good overall. Conventional warfare for now. Uh, get that one. If we can win there, that's all that matters. I think. So force it. Nice. Okay, so we got the den. Oh my god, that was a little risky. Um, we'll probably get attacked by someone else soon, and it's going to be probably a little bit of a problem for us. Um, we're going to max sec. They have up to 3 to 5. We might be able to do something against them, maybe. But time's going to tell. And here we're at, everybody. Now, I thought I was recording earlier, but apparently not. I took out Klamath earlier, thinking, like I said, I thought I was recording, but we weren't. Um, but we're at war with Modoc and Slags. Now, I went to war with Modoc, and they were just guaranteed by Slags. That's why we're at war with them. And now, New Reno has gone to war with them as well. So, we're going to have to have to deal with New Reno here soon enough. Uh, we're just doing a general attack just because we can for the most part. Um, we let time go on quite a bit since we last uh, spawned in, but it's alright. As long as we get like some sort of tile here, that's what I really want in the end. We'll let them leave. They're going to need to fight more of Reno than anything, anybody else, so. Or they want to die anyways, too. That's fine, too. Um, so. Stuff that does weapon manufacturers, of course. Establishing armies are always pretty good, too. Cool, we're in here now. And uh, go in there maybe, and you go there too. Should be okay. Now our divisions are, oh, actually you go right there. Our divisions are actually quite okay, because we now have a little bit of manpower. We have NCR security forces, 20 combo with the demo teams, chems, and a tank. And then we also have, like, ooh, oh, wait, it's only so. Special forces, 20 combo with, basically the same thing. Uh, so we're doing all right. Uh, we could do a royal advisors, but meh. We don't need motorized probably either. So we're doing okay around here. Oh, hello. We have quite a line with you guys, don't we? There we go. Get to where you really need to be. Um, get over there, I suppose. You know, get down there. Get over there. Uh, you're not completely surrounded, but you could probably knock him out, honestly. Okay, get your butts in there. Oh my god, you just got us encircled. By who? Slags, you gotta die. Come on, move your butts. Faster than this. This is pathetic. Get in there. Go. You really want to kill off my division, don't you? You're going to have all right there, too. And you're going to go in there as well. Good force. But we're going to go to take this one next. All the hang dogs is good. Okay, Marino, stop it. Go, go, go. Force defense. No, I don't care. Kill them all off. Because these guys will die very soon, too. Go ahead. Come on. We definitely need to do more damage. But we do have a few planes researched, actually. So let's come over here. Cast and fighter support. Boom, boom. There you go. And I want you to definitely do that. Hey, we, we saved him. Nice. There you go. If you were smart, it sends the one guy this way and go there. Uh, we're on outside of battalions, which is nice. Uh, we're going to go for the lock and loaded, maybe. Pretty standard. 10% more soft attack. More research speed. We're also focusing a lot on the banking sector, just to make sure we have enough caps and whatnot. We're at 34 already, which is pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, but, it could always be better, but still. And we're trying to beat these guys up here, too. Oh, President All Good Murphy. Uh, there you go. Distillation's good. Um, we have six research slots, which is kind of insane. But, which is glad, and I'm happy about it. Ah, good. Look at that. Hey, we got him. At the very least, let us take this. Flex. Come on. Come on. There you go. No, we'll take it. Nice. Not bad. Grenade assaults, trooper warfare. Ah, Modoc. 
Dang it, we can't take them. Well, whatever. Okay, at least we got one of them out, out of the way. Now get to Reno. This will be a little more difficult. The Seraph Lords, we've got a Reno, we've got a... Actually, taking out a Royal might be good. They have two puppets. I think it might be best if we take out a new Reno first, maybe. Just because I know they're going to get in our way. But we don't have the, the numbers for this yet. Oh, we definitely don't. Um, we've already cored these two tiles over here as well. I want to core the Klamath tiles, these tiles. We're going to be in a real big pickle here before long. So yeah, actually they're allied to... Royal. How many divisions? That's quite a few divisions. As long as New Arena does not want to take us out, I think we'll go to war with them. Eureka joined them as well, but I think we might just end the episode here just because I don't think we have it. I want to spend some more time figuring out what our next step is going to be. So, if you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we're going to do with not one, not two, not three, not even five, but four ways. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.